We're going to end our broadcast tonight by returning to where we began. President Carter's amazing strength of spirit as he revealed his cancer diagnosis to the world today. Well, he has a tough road ahead. The former president is a man who clearly counts his blessings. Here's Harry Smith. President Jimmy Carter looked us in the eye today and smiled. I'm perfectly at ease with whatever comes. You know, I, I do have deep religious faith, which I'm very grateful for. 90 years old and confident in the accomplishments of his life. The presidency, the political high point, but the Carter Center more meaningful. We've had programs in 80 different countries on earth for the poorest and most destitute people in the world. And that has been, I'd say, far more gratifying personally, because we actually interact with families, going into villages and learning about them and what their actual needs are. As for do-overs, when he was in the White House, just one. I wish I had sent one more helicopter to get the hostages and uh, <laughs> we would have rescued them and I, I would have been re-elected, but that may have... <laughs> and his biggest accomplishment? Well, the best thing I ever did was marrying Rosalind. <laughs> that, that's the pinnacle of my life. And we've had 69 years together, still together. And uh, so that's the best thing that happened to me. President Carter's first radiation treatment was today. Sunday, he'll be where he usually is, in Plains, in church. I plan to teach Sunday school this Sunday and, and, and every Sunday as long as I'm, you know, physically and mentally able. And we have hundreds of visitors who come to see the curiosity of a politician teaching the Bible, so. <laughs> Jimmy Carter, a man with true purpose and unafraid. Harry Smith, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.